Coventry Carol, which is from, well, there's two versions. If I remember right, with the 1530s and the 1580s or 90s um, in, in two manuscripts. Um, so that's, that's smack bang in the middle of the Renaissance. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, the first time I heard that song, I was 18. I discovered fat music at the age of 16 and didn't know I was hearing early music when I first heard Coventry Carol. I was in the grounds of Coventry Cathedral uh, on the, the bit that was bombed upstairs watching one of the mystery plays which they used to put on every other year and it was the scene of the slaughter of the innocents and <laughs> already I can feel the hairs in the back of my neck standing on end as I'm even thinking about this. It was such a powerful experience. And the Slaughter of the Innocents scene was um, all of these women with rag babies. And the soldiers came out with swords, put the tip of the swords into the rag babies and pulled out these really long streams of red ribbon. And we were surrounded, they weren't on the stage, we were in with the actors, surrounded by ear-piecing screams. And suddenly everything stopped dead. And the lights turned off and we were in pitch darkness. And a single female voice starts singing Coventry Carol. Mm. And as another voice joins her, the light starts to slowly fade up until there's three women singing it in harmony. Absolutely stunning. Mm. Uh, and that was my first experience of early music, mm -hmm. though I didn't know it at the time. Um, and, and that's why I want to sing that song. Mm. You talked about, you know, personal experiences. That very powerful experience is why I want to sing that song. Well, that's a brilliant introduction to it. So we'll listen to Commentary Carol. Thank you. <laughs> 